Teddy. It'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help her. She... she... <laughs> There, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel... You'd have me in a padded cell, just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me. To prevent any further violent outburst of so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong, even then. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew, what Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch, because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself. This dumb waiter is huge. It is. It goes all the way to the second floor, but judging by the spiders, it's not used very often nowadays. The spiders? Oh, don't ask. I guess we'll have the key. Unless we can find another way in. I think I might have an idea how to get into the cellar, but I'm not sure you'll like it. If it involves this filthy dumbwaiter, don't even think about it. True, that wouldn't be very ladylike. You might want to consider what I do for a living before trying to taunt me this cheaply. You said you'd help me, so help me. 
on my terms. I can't fit in there and I see no other way into the cellar. Hmm. You're asking me to put a lot of trust in you, given the circumstances. You can trust me. And I will do my very best to learn to trust you. Hmm. All right then. Clothes can be washed. Lovely. Back up! I need something to open the doors from the inside once I'm down there. This should do it. Going down. Good luck. See you in a minute. Uh, Dr. Farber. Is everything all right? Leah! Oh, if anything's happened to her... You needn't worry about me. I've been to stranger places than this castle. Follow me. They seem to be a house full of carnivores. What a horrific way to die. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. Re, it... Whew, where's that sudden draft coming from? Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. David, can you hear me? Your stag is here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Mr. Gordon, are you with me? Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. <laughs> David, can you hear me? Mr. Gordon, are you with me? The missing pendant. He threw it into the Bloodfield Basin. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. We're... Something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic! 
What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you think me insane if I describe them to you. You need to learn to trust me. I am on your side, remember? So you say. But I remember you locked my father up too. A tiger can't change its stripes. The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. Ugh, that's horrible. You're not the one with your hand in it. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. How did you know it was there? The pendant, I mean. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. It's labelled Mallory, as in Eddie Mallory. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that...? A young Eddie and his mother Clara. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts, your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. You see? 
The necklace was his mother's. He gave it to the maid. The maid. You're right. We need to speak to him about this. But how could you know this? I can't help you if you don't tell me. Cousin Eddie might be a murderer. How I draw my conclusions can wait for now. <laughs>